So Trump dies and he gets sent down to hell. He gets down there and the first thing the devil says to him is, well, before you say anything, you got to know you are definitely in the right place. But we're all full up. To let you in, I got to let somebody else out. And I'm feeling sporting today, so I'll let you decide who gets let, left out. So off they go. Trump follows along and the devil opens up a door. And there's Barack Obama. He runs to the end of a diving board. He jumps in to a pool, swims to the side, gets out, goes back, jumps into the pool, gets out, goes back, jumps. The devil says, what do you think? And Trump says, well, I'll grant you, that's not the worst punishment I could possibly conceive of, but I don't think I could do that for the rest of eternity. All right, close on, move to the next door, open it up. There's George Bush. He's got a sledgehammer and there's a big old boulder in front of him. And he's wailing away on that boulder, beating the hell out of it. And it cracks and it gets smaller and he beats it until it's down to nothing but pea gravel. And as soon as it's down to pea gravel, gets taken away, another boulder comes down. And he has to start wailing away on that one. Trump looks at that and he's like, hmm, you know, I played a lot of golf in my time. I don't, I don't think I could do that for the rest of eternity. Devil says, well, all right. You go to the next door. There's Bill Clinton, naked, on a bed, tied down. Sure enough, after a couple seconds, here comes Monica Lewinsky out from a side room. She goes, gets on top of Bill Clinton and does exactly what you think Monica Lewinsky would do. As soon as it's over, Monica gets up, goes to the side room, washes herself off, comes back, starts again. Trump's looking at this and he says, oh yeah, I can do this for the rest of eternity. The devil says, well, you sure? He says, uh, oh yeah, I can handle this. And the devil says, all right, well, Monica, you're free to go.